Today I wanted to go over just briefly your uh, activity from today with you. Um, you are going, or I'm sorry, from yesterday with you. Um, you should have already completed the activity. Some of you, the most of you actually sent me pictures with your work and so I could get an idea of what you were doing and what you were not. Um, if you're not following those instructions, please make sure you are because the whole point would be that I can see what you understand and what you don't. Um, and for those of you who I didn't get pictures from, um, please understand that you're responsible for this material. So please make sure you're staying on top of it. Now, with that, I just wanted to briefly go over the expectations from this activity and just kind of see what you got in the way of your results. So um, with that being said, just to kind of remind you, as you were doing this activity, the very first thing you were asked to do was to take the mass of a piece of chalk and then you write your name and then take the mass of a piece of chalk again. And so I actually did that. I, I took a mass of a piece of chalk and I got that the piece of chalk I was using was 27 grams. Um, and then when I was all done, I actually wrote my name with it. And then when I was all done, I got that the what was left over was 22.5 grams of chalk left over, which means the mass of my name ended up being 4.5 grams. And remember, that chalk we're using is calcium carbonate, so of oh, calcium carbonate. Now, that led me then to question four. And step four was actually the step where you had to do several calculations. It included molar mass. I'm going to label that A, moles of chalk, which I'll label B, and then moles of calcium carbon and oxygen, which I'll label C. So with that, really quickly, let's just review um, what each of these would be. So molar mass. Remember the molar mass is simply the amount of mass, atomic mass, on the periodic table of an element. Put it all together and you get the mass of a compound. So let's just do the molar mass of calcium carbonate. Now remember calcium carbonate is really just CaCO3. So it's really just one calcium, one carbon, and three oxygens. So what does that mean? Well, we've got one calcium with a mass of 40. We've got one carbon with a mass of 12.01. And we've got three oxygens, each with a mass of 16. So we get a total mass of 100.01 grams of calcium carbonate. That's equal to one mole. All right, so that's great. That gets us through A. Now, all of us should have had that the same, right? Because we're talking the molar mass of calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate's molar mass doesn't change. It will always be the same molar mass. So it should have, or you should have gotten that the molar mass of calcium carbonate is 100.01. But now here's where your value might have been different, right? Because the amount of uh, chalk you used was probably different than the amount of chalk I used. I only used 4.5 grams and I want to figure out how many moles that is, right? So I've got my known, my 4.5 grams of calcium carbonate. And again, I'm trying to go to moles. So moles of calcium carbonate. And now I need some sort of conversion factor. Now remember, a conversion factor is really just something that's going to allow us to get rid of our known and get us to our unknown. So our conversion factor should make it so grams of calcium carbonate is on bottom, moles on top, and so all that really means is we're dividing by our molar mass, right? 4.5 grams over 1 times 1 mole over 100.01 grams. And I ended up getting that I had 0 0.045 moles of calcium carbonate used. So I used 0 0.045 moles of calcium carbonate. Now your number is going to be slightly different because obviously you used a different mass of chalk, which means you're going to use a different amount of moles of chalk as well. Now check your work with those. Notice that your work should be the same even if your answers are slightly different. Um, but just check your work and if you notice an error somewhere go back and fix it and just make sure then that you have the right uh, amount of moles of chalk based on your calculation. All right, um, once you have that, y'all, then the idea would be is that you're ready to send that back to me and I'll check your work and um, I'll give you a final score for um, this whole uh, activity. All right, but before you finish that, 
the last thing we want to do real quick is C. Now C was a little complicated. This one, uh, I, I saw that you had some trouble with it. Some of y'all were able to get it. Um, most of y'all had a few issues related to it, so let's just cover it. Uh, understand that we know that one calcium carbonate is really just one calcium, one carbon, and three oxygens. So proportionally speaking, this is what we have, right? So if we wanted to talk about one mole of calcium carbonate, well really all that means is we have one mole of calcium, one mole of carbon, and three moles of oxygen. Now really that just makes a relationship, right? What that relationship tells us is that one mole of calcium equals one mole of calcium carbonate, one mole of carbon is equivalent to one mole of calcium carbonate, and three moles of oxygen is equal to one mole of calcium carbonate in our formula, right? Those are relationships, just like all the other relationships we've had before, these are relationships just the same. So, if instead of having one mole of calcium carbonate, we have 0 0.045 moles of calcium carbonate, well, we could figure out how much we have of each. It's just simply dimensional analysis. So, let's just start. We've got our moles of calcium carbonate. If we were trying to go to moles of calcium, what would our conversion factor look like? Well, it would simply be one mole of calcium over one mole of calcium carbonate, which means the answer is simply the same, right? We have 0 0.045 moles of calcium in 0 0.045 moles of calcium carbonate. Same idea for the carbon. So 0 0.045 moles of calcium carbonate. Now again, look at our ratio, right? So for every one mole of carbon in one mole of calcium carbonate, which means, again, it's the same. We've got 0 0.045 moles of carbon in 0 0.045 moles of calcium carbonate. What about the oxygen? All right, so we've got 0 0.045 moles of calcium carbonate. This time it's not a one-to-one -one relationship. It's actually three to one. For every three moles of oxygen are in one mole of calcium carbonate, so now it's just a matter of solving. 0 0.045 times 3, and we get 0.135 moles of oxygen. So for 0 0.045 moles of calcium carbonate, we have the same moles of cal calcium, the same moles of carbon, and three times as many, right? So 0.135 moles of oxygen. That's what your work should look like to get you moles of each of those substances in that compound. So look back at your work. Is that what you got? Were you able to get to moles of calcium, moles of carbon, and moles of oxygen? If you were not, go back and try to redo it. And again, once you've got all these calculations completed, go ahead and take a picture of them, send them to me, and I will give you a final score for your activity. If you should have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to contact me. Um, you can send me a message on Remind or send me an email. Otherwise, please start studying now. Today, obviously, you're going to be doing some review, some station review from this unit. Tomorrow, you'll do the review as well, um, and just basically prepping you for your exam, which you will be taking on Monday. Monday of next week. Now today, along with your review, you're going to be getting a unit review guide. It's just kind of going to guide you on what to do as you're prepping for your exam. Please take a look at that and please use that as needed as you're going back and looking over your material um, so that you're ready on Monday when you come in to take uh, your exam. Uh, again, if you should have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Otherwise, um, I'll talk to you later. Have a good night. Thanks.